order. Either YouTube, this unicorn attack for the last and final round of the beta. That's it, beta flash tournament. The first one I host. Um, this is the battle against T. Joel and Ghost, right? That was right. That was right. I'm ho I'm dual commentating with Carpus. Hi, Carpus. Hello. I was joining on the last word, so it sounded odd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Well. Um, we're having now on the map, over on the left, the Archery Dojo and over on the right, the Sword Dojo. It's 1-1, one, one, so this is the third and final match, the decisive um, match between these two players. I saw someone left, who, who was it? That was Jimmy. It doesn't matter, he kicked me out in the first round, we don't have to worry about Jimmy. Okay. okay. <laughs> Fuck Jimmy. <laughs> Shouldn't have been me in this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> so... Let's see what happens. What uh, we are looking at the army composition of Tijo. We are indeed. Can okay, you say the army composition? Again, he's keeping quite strongly with the matlock. He's got some matlock samurai now. They're quite highly ranked, so I would like to see some fire by rank formations, which pretty much give them the effectiveness of an additional two sets of matchlock because obviously they crouch and fire, which is quite interesting. So what I like to see now actually is since um, we've got the Archery Dojo, it was the Shrine last game, I believe the game before that, which paid quite a big factor in when they were attacking and defending. So yeah. I like to see how just that change is going to make everything different. And already as you can see here, uh, Tajo was bringing his unit straight onto the right hand side to focus more on the uh, melee. Yeah, the melee dojo. dojo. Yeah. I think it's a very good uh, idea of him because the archery dojo, well, it will help his uh, match locks quite a bit. The reload skill. And he's depending on his re on his um, on his match lock, so I should definitely go also for the archery dojo, at least with his cavalry or maybe a Nagy attendance sitting over there. But She is indeed, and as you can see, just popped up in chat, and if you can see it on your stream, that um, ghost has just quickly gone for a P. Okay. So it would be a slight Well, Ghost sorry. is just, uh, yeah. Uh, well, he says he's going for a P. Yeah. PP machen. The saga is in Germany. Uh, you, don't normally, pee -pee. you don't normally hear about that, they do, with like great generals. You see someone like Napoleon or like <laughs> the Khan from the Mongols, or even people from Japan. It's like, sir, the enemy are at our gates. One second, guys. Um, <laughs> I need. I need a pee. Just, uh, just, t just send out a messenger. Tell him to wait about five to ten minutes. I just quickly need to get to the toilet. <laughs> just bear with me with that one. It will be even more amazing. Just middle, middle, just in the middle of the battle, and the general stands up and he says, "Stop." He <laughs> must pee pee machen. <laughs> And he's just... Oh, no. oh, he's back. Wonderful. <laughs> That's a quick one. <laughs> oh. That's a very quick one. People have a very small PP then. <laughs> it's not the excuse to use. Because sometimes uh, I get real PP quickly. It wasn't me. No. Um, they said oh. all small people were the best generals. Like Napoleon. Yeah, Napoleon was actually really short, wasn't he? Maybe just need some sort of weird defect, because I believe um, Adolf Hitler only had one testicle. So, Seriously? Yeah, so as long as you got some weird um, defect I think he had his body. testicle under his nose. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it was just camouflage, pubes were really the mustache. I just go back to the game now, we're now just yeah. uh, <laughs> chatting bulls and bullshit. Let's go back to the game. Um, they are both trying to uh, get the sword dojo. Yes, very strongly focused on this hand side. Um, the army of Ghost, can you say the army composition? From positions, I was about to say that I think that um, Tarjil will have the better advantage here, mainly because he's going right around with his um, cavalry, and also he's got quite a strong Yari force. But um, Ghost is coming very strongly on the left hand side. He's going to get caught up if he decides to run down against his Yari cavalry here and a bit of light cavalry, which will get supported by the Yari. So it's going to be interesting how he's going to either weave around it or go in for a charge. Yeah, it's... 
but I think Ghost again with this low, le uh, all these units from level 9 will have a very decent amount of moral and just melee attack to kill uh, the cavalry off of Tejo because the, the, the charges don't really do that much. No, you don't. I I'm highly charge Ghost. quite focused on that insane cavalry charge. Very strongly focused on just getting rid of the um, match lock. Match locks. That's a waste. About to say, I don't think highly... That is a bit of waste of the match locks. Very bad waste. The match lock didn't really suffer too badly. If um, Taj as you can see has reinforcements on Yari cavalry and a bit of light cavalry to hold them up, he could hopefully do a lot of damage, maybe even route those. But what it does do though is it gives Ghost more time to get um, um, to get higher ground and to have a better position with the melee dojo. Now, as you can see here now, he's taken his position quite strongly up on this hill. Yeah, yeah. The nice position. Very has nice been positioning. Captured. <coughs> oh, that's really good. Um, Our men are running from the battlefield. Shameful display. The cavalry over on the left side from Tijo really has to move more in, I think make some nice strikes or try to develop some kind of flank with your match locks because you're in a very bad position at this moment. You are. It's going to be quite hard for him now to really dictate what he wants Ghost to do. Ghost has a very strong flank from all sides of his cavalry and his um, Yara units. He's going to be careful his match lock just about to be hit there by the cavalry as you can see. Yeah. yeah. He's fighting against quite highly ranked um, Nagiata. He is pulling back now, he doesn't want to stay in that fight for too long. Slightly caught up with some crossfire there, he's going to want to try and pull them slightly to his right hand side. Well, the left of Tijo really has to change position now. He is now, especially since now Ghost is advancing down the hill, we can use the cavalry to kite around the long hand side. Of Ghost's right hand yeah, flank. He's really advancing forward. I think it's a very good position to just charge in now because Tejil's lines are a bit disorganized. Yeah, he can't really he's gonna have the higher ground advantage with his guns and the charge bonus. And the dojo is just protecting his right flank of, of Ghost, that is. He can't reinforce or flank Ghost. So, nice That's position true. there. Slightly protecting him from the matchlock fire as well. The um, yeah. Tajul does have some both samurai this time around. And the matchlocks are firing from higher ground oh, so they will me. shoot above the heads of uh, his a of, of his own men. So. No, that's true though, I believe that for the normal matchlock um, units, you don't have friendly fire damage, I think that's only with the heavy gunners. Mm -hmm. But the cavalry really have to be cautious, you really have to be cautious uh, for the cavalry from Tejo because they can also go, yeah there you go, they're going on the ridge. In the in the back lines of ghosts and he's retreating. Good choice. That is true. I don't know if it'd be wise now for um, Tejo to actually pull back slightly, since uh, ghosts yeah. on a really high hill advantage. As you said, now the but he's charging in. Yeah, on Tejo's right hand side, he's hitting with the cavalry, and also on his left hand side, he's starting to use his cavalry quite strongly here on the move up. Yes, yeah, but his area Shigeru will not. Stand for long, yeah. They're already wavering. You can see that he does have some kat some katana samurai there, but it's not really gonna work. Not really. Let's see. Something magical with the no dash. He might want to drop a banzai. He has dropped the war cry, but the general's so close. I didn't see him trying to break these lines. Wow, well, we finally have a war cry, but level nine units. Uh, it's so hard to to break them down. Where's the bulletproof samurai? Because they will just tank like a boss. <laughs> As you can see, actually, on Taj's right hand side or Ghost's left hand side, Ghost has managed to do some nice Yari. What well, nice work with Yari Cavalry. Oh, nice charge from the cavalry. Yeah, you see the cavalry over on the left side? Very nice. Yes. As Grass will have to go. Yeah, that's the route. Our general is in great that's good. Danger Using right cavalry like that won him the, uh, won him the other game. Gotta be careful just underneath that to the bottom of the shrine. No, that actually did manage to charge some of his archers. Though it's been reinforced yeah. with Yari Ashigaru. 
But as you can see again, what did look like a really one-sided battle has gone a little bit, gone a little bit back in the halfway mark now. Uh, yeah, Tarjus this game was very careful. obvious. This game was more obvious to win in the in the favor of Ghost, and that was all Three the ghosts. two uh, with the cavalry. They managed to disorganize the lines of uh, Tijo, and so he could have the high ground and the best position. Uh, very nice charge. Like, Tijo still um, still does have some match lock, which has stopped routing. Which there you go. Where she needs to start moving, and she's doing one of them now, but everyone's still to stand there. If he uses that to help in gunfight, he will have a higher chance. Like you just said, the general has fallen. So it's going to well, be. Well, I hope uh, they. Will. Well, we have seen some more miraculous things uh, in this tournament now. <laughs> so maybe there are some game changes. I will not say. Nah, this is this is this is for for Ghost. You see that. Though since Ghost no longer has any cavalry units, and Taj does, or Taj still has a fair amount, well, he's got two, which is just about enough. Nah, it's not going to be enough. I was going to say he could try and do uh, mass macro and divide them up and keep trying to hit in different angles. No, no, no. Even one of them is already wavering. Yeah, and still, he got his general, this is the game. And I think also TJ will try to, to, to do it, but with all these melee units, you're not really having a chance. Now he's standing, he's admitting oh. he, he lost the game. So, GG by both players, very good series and now uh, we, we have to admit yeah. that uh, Ghost is the first winner of the beta flash tournaments for Shogun too. Well done. Yep. And even getting to second place is no small fee, that's for sure. But I lost on the first round, I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even compete. Well, <laughs> oh. well no, I think the second... I think it was a good series. It was good. I hope to see more. That game's ended now. I might as well do a quick outro up in Carpus. I was helping out young unicorn here. Yeah. Thank you, man. I was unicorn attack. Total War addict. Please check. Uh, please subscribe, like, and comment on both our channels. Carpus Game Channel and Total War addict. Okay. See Bye. you around. Bye.